what's in the box. Yeah, I can't wait till we find out what's in the box. Oh, sorry about it. You gotta tell me what's in the box. You, you think you can tell me? I gotta know. I gotta know what's in there. Ooh oh, ooh -wee. Look, ooh, look, ooh, ooh, look at Tarabot. What's in the box, Tarabot? What do you think's in there? What do you, What do you think it is? You think we it's something special? Do you think we could we could like open it and peek inside? Do you, do you think it's those robots? What, what do you What do you think, Tarabot? Tell Tell me. Well, well, thank you, Mr. Poopy Butthole. I uh, glad you were able to make it special intro and uh hmm what's in the box well according to grib they're prepping for a big update to exit steam early access on the 24th of august and we're limited edition giving cosmetics to everyone this will be our 1.0 launch with feature set to be revealed early next week for more information click on this anyway basically um, it's a pretty big deal. Um, something else, um, about it, though, is this. Certain players will get certain things. So, the more veteran you are, basically, the more pilot seats you are going to be able to have. Now, these pilot seats, they're going to look great. Um, I started the game in 2015. So, early 2015, sadly, I just missed out on the 2014 reward. So, these are the ones I'll be getting. I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty stoked. I really would have loved to get that retro guy on the far right, though. I mean, he's pretty awesome. But that's okay. I'm happy. I'm happy that they're, they're giving these things away to the veteran players who've, who've hung in there all this time. Maybe that'll alleviate some of the saltiness. Now you won't be able to build and Triforce to your seat. Well, technically you could Triforce to your seat, but it won't make it, it won't work like it used to. Um, furthermore, though, something you may have uh, not been too privy to because they only put this in the forums. But in the forums, Grib also says they're going to be removing all cosmetics by that same date. Now, they're, they're, they're just removing them from the forge. It just means you won't be able to make them. And this is going to include the altimeter and speedometer, unfortunately, which to a lot of people are functional parts, but it's what they're doing. And um, also the bra out now. Simple rules, you know, bring a bot 1,000 CPU. And um, you can only use rails. So and that's pretty much it. It's kind of like a one one man faces everyone. That's what the pit is. Um, it's like a free for all kind of thing. It's a pretty good thing if you like uh, like that. Uh, you can do those in custom games as well. I've uh, uploaded a brawl video myself, for episode twelve. I, th I try to do these. I try to keep you guys up on the latest brawls. I try to get them up as soon as I can. But, you know, I'm going to keep talking here while we uh, watch a little league action. Um, prior to this match, we had lost two of our players and just barely lost that match. I would have so... I, if, if... Maybe I should have uploaded. I don't know. Capture the points but, you know, I, I would have loved to see um, three versus five win. And it was, it was certainly possible. It was very close. It was such a close match. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about all this stuff going on. And basically, um, what you need to know is that the cosmetics, like even Carbon 6 stuff is going to be going. So, you know, that stuff's a bit more pricey. But, you know, anything that was kind of like, at, that looked special. Um, I think they're trying to make it so that you, you have to win things out of the crate. That way it's more special when you get it. You can't just go and buy the special stuff. And besides that, cosmetics aren't necessary for battle. Most people prefer not using any cosmetics. But, you know, especially, at least in competition. Now, for art box and stuff, which will uh, be a thing again 
but right now, I don't know why they've decided not to do any Artbot contest at the moment. But I imagine those will be coming back, especially since they've done the uh, garage thing. They look really, really good. And I've been really happy about that. Um, I'm playing with a little hover here. That I, I haven't done any build video or anything to it. I didn't put it in CRF. Um, I kind of... It, it was working so good. Sometimes you don't want to share your stuff. You know, I've noticed though that people aren't buying robots like they used to. And uh, I think that's, you know, because of the way they've made changes. It's like... The middle point is under attack. If you build it yourself, you start out with a mastery of 10. And you'll get that bonus. So, hmm. you know, and usually you can figure out the builds. Like even this one here. You can watch this guy and you can see when he gets dis destroyed a little bit or whatever. You can see what the guts look like and you can see what I did. Um, it's nothing too special. I went five blocks wide, stuck some hovers in there, <laughs> covered him up with other blocks. The you know, is under attack. That's pretty much it. There's, there's one in the middle up in the front there. That, that's set a little bit higher. But it works. I think it's got seven of the epic hovers in there. And I got a couple little thrusters on the bottom back there. And they're connected to uh, light blocks as well. I keep the light blocks on top and the uh, health blocks on the bottom. Because the light blocks can take more damage. And, and you typically want light stuff on the top of your bot and heavy stuff on the bottom because it just makes it a little more stable. Um, I was kind of sneaky here. You know, you, you just want to like, all I really want to do is break their spirit. I'm not trying to win the match here. I want their thing to, I think, psychologically, like, if they, I know what messages go off. I know if I hit their base. That it's going to set their message off saying something like, Your base is under attack. And it makes them freak out. They're going to be like, Oh man, oh, we can't do that. that happen. This guy with the shield. He was really good with that shield. Give him that. But if it, well, he didn't have that shield, I'd have had him. I was like, Come on, I, can, I can't blink. I got one hover. See a sneakiness there? I hooked the, I hooked the, the two hovers on the side of that. Now I put a couple of those uh, ankle blocks to wrap around it so I can connect it to the rest of the bot there. So you can use connection points. You can still do stuff. But like I said, if you use a new pilot seats and you try to triforce to those, they, they're not, they're cosmetic. They don't, they're not going to have the percentage of health to your bot or the CPU to your bot or whatever to keep you alive like, it, like a module will. Now you can try force the modules because modules kick up a good chunk of CPU point. and therefore you, you know if you, you have that then it's going to consider that as a certain percentage of your bot it's much higher than a cosmetic pilot seat would be. But on the flip side you could technically build those bots again. You could go look up Rose Falls old builds and those are, and other builds that use pilot seats and now you can take the old pilot seats and build those builds and that's kind of neat will they function as well I don't know because uh, triforcing doesn't work way but not all robots in the past were that triforce you know and it could still work with camera steering because if you think about it if something's triforce to take damage from the front then and you're using camera steer then most of the time you're going to be facing your enemy and uh, you know just a little tip here you know it's it, the camera steer is good because it keeps you facing the, the enemy you know and you want to learn how to fly backwards you know, don't do like this or see how I, I was thinking about it but i was like you know i'm not i'm, I'm using the cover you know, I'm moving pretty fast. Seven hovers will do that. I thought maybe they'll just come to me and I'll EMP him. I stuck a blink and an EMP in here. And uh, I, I did the EMP in such a way too that it's also, I think, it might actually be holding a couple hovers. It might not be. I don't know. If I didn't, I should have. <laughs> it's, it's a good build. I was happy with this little build. 
and the lasers are a little bit better now because you know people weren't using lasers as much or proto secrets um, if you haven't used them in a while you know try them out again because that last update they did they nerfed the uh, plasmas a little bit and they they, they nerfed plasmas rails and uh, not counting the new one because the new one came out with that update so it was what it was whatever they said it was going to do damage as it does a lot of damage I was pretty happy with that Mega Rail, by the way. That thing's good. They, will there be a Carbon 6 of it? I'm sure there will. And guess what? You're only going to be able to get it out of a crate when it does come out. Because like I said, you know, so... But you have to, you know, you, you have the 24th, which is not very far away. So, you know, you know, if you're watching this after the 24th, I'm so sorry. But, but you need to get in there. If you have some robots, you know, they're going to add functionality to these or s something. They're going to do something. They haven't been too clear. But from what the images suggest, is they might have some sort of like holographic like uh, stuff that occurs or something. It may not be so much functional as it just look cooler. Like they'll do something. I don't know. I'm just not sure, you know. They, 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 they've dropped little bitty hints you know and I've heard other youtubers talk a little bit about it but but I don't think anybody knows for sure what's going on there but um well this guy so, man he's got about the same number of guns as I do he's got more than one robot running at me he, uh, it's a weird build but if it works it works you know, I'm not one to criticize too much. Look at that. Crazy looking bot. But you got to do that. You got to use lots of wings and a lot of big body on them now. It, it, it's all about the cap. I'll tell you that right now. You know, it, focus on the caps. Don't focus on the enemy so much. Sometimes you gotta be away from the enemy. You notice I'm not like looking for the fight. I'm looking for caps. I look for where can I cap. When I say cap, that means capture a point. You know? yeah, when you hear people say things in chat and they say near, far, mid, nobody calls them caps. Nobody calls them capture points. Don't, don't refer them to them that way because it's just like it's too confusing. Everybody knows what points are. They can thinking, oh, that I make a better score or whatever, you know. It's just, I don't know why they named them that. But just say near, far, or middle, or mid, or whatever. Right, like, why is he firing Aeroflack? I'm a hover. Or whatever. I was just waiting on the EMP and boom. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, it's like, come on, guys. I need your help over here. I know there's going to be more. I know they're coming. They don't want to take this because it's their near. It's the easy one to get to. He's trying to get me. Okay. Ion. I took, think I took off his legs first. It's always good to take off his legs. He's stuck there. But you can move. It's nice to move and shoot. Okay, I knew they were going to come. I didn't get no backup. It's okay. The point furthest from your base but I do enjoy attack. playing games. I do like doing solo league like this, you know, because I've been doing it for so long like this. It's uh, it's interesting. You, have um, you know, if I can get all the way to Protonium without uh, putting the parties together, if, if it gets base. too hard, I'm eventually I'm just gonna put parties together. Imminent. And, uh, you know, look, main game name's the same as this. This is Atari Bot. You can friend me and stuff if you're good at League. Um, I've got a few people on my friends list and, and in my clan. I may put together some sort of like dream team and uh, do some the League stuff. Under there it is. Guess they gave up. Annihilator fully charged. I don't Firing like when they give up. Three, I just don't. Two, one. I don't give up. Like I said, top objectives. I don't don't always get the highest score that way because you're not going after the enemy as much as you're going after the caps. But you will get top objectives that way, and it works. It works. And see the mastery bonus for building your own bot. It's not bad, guys. But I may do a build here soon on hover. 
because I, my other builds are getting old and stuff, and you guys need a fresh new hover build like that. Um, then I think I could have made some improvements, so I'll do a build video on how to do this soon. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Leave a like and a subscribe for more, and maybe notifications, whatever. You know, here's some other stuff to click on. If you if you're watching on a phone or TV, though, you won't you won't see it. You'll just see an Atari 2600 sliding across with the subscribe thing there. But but you can still hit the other subscribe things. Anyway, bye.